the Rackflow team has just introduced Rackflow components. So as we know that there are a lot of components which are being used by a lot of different projects, a lot of different teams and they're common. So for example, as in a tutorial I made some time before, I made a database schema visualizer. Many companies are using Rackflow to make schema visualizers and that includes, you know, some table like this with a label and their properties and these schema visualizers have connections which are shown by edges. So Rackflow team decided to make these kind of components available to the general public so that they can use them and you know customize them and that has been made available using SatCN. So now you will see that there is a components portion present in the Rackflow website and that basically tells you how to first of all add components. So first of all you will have to configure SatCN in your project so for configuring SatCN and Tailwind there is a good installation guide in the ShadScan website right here. You can choose, you know, Next.js, Vite, whatever project you have. I had a Vite project, so, you know, go there and run all the commands which are present in this installation guide. And once that is done, what you have to do is just have to run the command for the particular component. So there are a lot of components which I will show you. For example, the zoom slider. So for installing the zoom slider, you will just have to run this command. And that would basically add a zoom slider file in your components directory right here and then basically the implementation of that particular component is present in the demo code tab for each component so for zoom slider it's pretty easy it's not really a node so you'll just import it and place it here just like you put normal uh, plugins and stuff inside the Rackflow component and that would basically add this beautiful zoom slider you can basically maximize and minimize the flow using this slider and also you can click on these plus or minus button then you can see the beautiful animation right here so we've got some basic components as well for example a tooltip node so that would you know show a tooltip and also the database schema stuff which i showed you before this and some components are node components so for using a node component you will import it add it in the node types object then add the node types in the rackflow component and then basically use that particular type which you specified in the node types object in the node itself as a type so these are six node components similarly you have got edge components so this is basically edge with a button so you can you know first of all you will need to run this command to install it then basically just import it then you will basically need to add it in the s types just like the node types and then you can use the type you specified here and then basically your edge will have a button just like this Similarly, the zoom slider already showed and you have handle with label as well. So if you want that your label should have a handle as well, you can use the handle label component and then the dev tools. So previously, if you wanted to use dev tools, you had to add a bunch of code in your deck flow like it wasn't that simple, but now it's very simple. You just have to run this command to install the dev tools and then basically just import the component and then use it here just like the zoom slider and that would basically add the dev tools here so i can click on the node inspector and that would basically add the node related information in front of all the nodes so you can see the position changing etc is cool and whether it's selected not selected you also have the change logger so whenever i would you know change the position of a node or do something the changes related to that node would be shown here at the bottom right so now implementing dev tools is also very easier so yeah that is a recent update which rackflow has implemented and it is a very cool update and i am actually very happy and excited about it what are your thoughts do let me know down in the comments below as always support the channel like and subscribe and i'll see you in the next video bye